It's about 35 inches tall, just under 42 inches long, and about 13 and a half inches wide. And it's a really heavy box, so be careful with it. But now let's get it open and I'll show you how to put it together. It comes with lots of packaging around it. We're just gonna tear all that off. Inside this little pouch right here is where we're gonna find the legs and the hardware to put it together. You can find them indicated by this sign here. So after unpackaging everything, I found four of these angled side legs, two of these straight middle legs. And you can see the difference in them here, the middle legs being up and down vertically at a right angle and the side legs having a slight acute angle to them. There's four of these 35 millimeter M10 bolts and eight of the 25 millimeter M10 bolts. You can see the difference in their lengths there, but they're the same kind of bolt and they're going to be screwed in with this six millimeter Allen wrench that I found. And of course it comes with the sofa itself here. And you can see that that will actually separate out initially into two pieces. And the first thing you'll want to do is orient those upside down so that we can screw in the legs. And you want to have the holes with these white pieces of cardboard next to each other. Then we'll want to take the middle legs along with the larger 35 millimeter bolts and screw them into place like this. And at first I'm going to use just my hands to get them into place. You can see they drop in quite easily and then we'll switch to the Allen wrench to tighten them all up. And I'm not going to tighten them down as much as I can until all four have been screwed in. Now that all four have been screwed in like this, I'm going to go one by one and tighten them all up. After tightening the first one, you see there's no wobble in it. And we have the same result for number two here. Now for the next step, we're gonna take the four angled legs and bolt them in place with the 25 millimeter bolts. Now an important thing to remember here is that you want all the legs to be angled outwards away from the center of the futon. So this one will look like this, this one will look like this, this one will look like this, and number four will look like this. And we're gonna do the same thing as before, drop the bolts into place with your hand, give them a quick tighten like this. And we're gonna do that for all four legs. Now we're gonna go through one by one and tighten them all up. Once the bolts are nice and tightened, you'll see that there's no wobble to them and we're gonna do that for all four legs. Once they all feel pretty sturdy, I'm gonna go through and double check by just tightening them all up one last time. Oh, that one really needs some extra tightening. Good thing I went through and made sure to double check here. Okay, now that we did that, assembly is complete. Now it's time to flip it over. And I think it's going to be easier popping up this backside just a little bit before flipping it. Now it does say that you should give it 24 hours until you start using it in order for the foam cushions to come back to their normal shape. And that's probably true, especially for the middle cushions here that were folded together. But let's take a look at what it can do and how it feels right away. But you'll see that the two halves of the backs will operate independently. You can have one down and one up. And to bring it back up, you just give it a pull and rest it in position. Now you can see that there is a halfway up like that and a full up like that. And again, if you wanna raise this one up, you just give it a little pull. And of course you heard it lock into place there. And if you want to lie it back flat, you just pull it forward and then release backwards. And it will lie down easily like that. And the bottom seats of the edges here will actually fold up a little bit like a pillow. Just give it a little lift. And you can see that it angles up like that. You'll see that there's a second level to it there if you pull it up again. And then to get it to lay back flat, you just pull it up again and release like that. And both sides of the couch will do that. In terms of initial comfort, it feels pretty springy and squishy. I like the angle that you sit up right here. It's nice and straightforward. Whereas if you have it in the recline position, it's actually pretty nice just to lean and chill back like this. In terms of laying back on it, I love this little headrest right here that acts as its own pillow. And in terms for the back right here, it's not the softest. It's pretty firm, but I like that because I feel like I have a lot of back support here. Same thing for lying on the side. I think it's going to be good for a nap. For someone who wants something that's really soft to sleep on all night, maybe this might not be the best choice. And you'll see that at six foot one when my head's rested on this, my feet do hang off the edge just a little bit. And you can see with it totally folded back here, there's definitely room for two people to sleep on it. So if you're looking for a stylish futon that's really easy to put together and has lots of versatility, this could be the one for you.